So, my dear friends, more and more questions are there. So, uterine artery Doppler done at 12 to 14 weeks, what would it detect? So, the answer is early onset preeclampsia. Next, the cytic fluid with the increase in PMN, that is polymorphonuclear cell count, which is more than 600 per ml, what would it suggest? So, it will suggest spontaneous uh, bacterial peritonitis. Next question, a very bad image I am able to draw here of the uh, vaginal portion showing the septa in this uh, image. So, this is the septate hymen. This is the septic hymen. Which type of hymen it is? That is septic hymen. Frequent pus discharge from the sinus in the perianal area. It is also one of the image based questions. Suppose uh, this is a sinus and which uh, frequently generate the pus. So this the answer is fistula in NO. Now next question is the varicose vein surgery followed by the medial loss of sensation. Which nerve is involved? Answer is saphenous nerve. Now next question is which is not found in men to be syndrome. So the answer is parathyroid adenoma. Next question is you will see some whitish uh, sort of uh, discharge in this area. The area of the bone exposed will show some whitish discharge. That is the grade 4 bad sore. Now female with the UTI started on the drugs which causes the tendon injury in children. So the answer is fluoroquinolones, including the ofloxacin, also called drug-induced tendonitis. Next question is TCA toxicity. Best management is surely gastric lavage, but in the options which is available, that is IV bicarbonates is the best answer. Next question is PCS K9 inhibitors are the alirocumab and evolocumab. Next question is growth hormone receptor antagonist is pagmisomint. Next question is the management for restless leg syndrome is Premipexol and Ropinarol. Next question, which drug has the least side effect on the plura? Answer is metformin. Uh, in the available options, this is the best option available. Next question is which of the following is not included in the WHO step approach? The answer is therapeutic. All approaches are available in this step that is behavioral, psychological and physical but therapeutic is not involved. Next question is adult male in the restaurant conscious oriented having the food having sudden uh, choking on the food the answer is Hamlet's manure that is abdominal thirst is given not the chest and blind finger insertion. Next question is Samsa tried was given in uh, which uh, showing the rhino sinusitis with polyposis with asthma with NACID tolerance which drug is avoided? The answer is aspirin. That is aspirin exacerbated respiratory disease. Next question shows the autoscopic finding in the child. Uh, having the hair loss for two months. Fluid and air bubble are clearly seen. Answer is serous otitis media. So this image will show the serous otitis media. Best investigation to detect the clostridium deficit. The answer is the GDH antoxin assay. Not the GDH assay. Next question is the military person with a rash on the body sparing the palm sole on examination lysis present answer is rickettsia proboscis not a rickettsia typhi the next question is 12 year old baby present with the right upper quadrant pain with conjunctival fusion with ectorous fever on examination it will uh, shows the tender hepatomegaly no history of the dyspnea hematuria seen, blood stools is not seen. So the answer is leptospirosis. As you all know, this triad, will, this triad is clearly seen in leptospirosis. Next, vaginal candidiasis, which medium is uh, used to identify the species? In case of the vaginal candies, candidiasis, available options, in the available options, CHROM agar is the best agar, chrome agar which is called in order to use to identify the species. Dimorphic fungus with red color reverse. This fungal infection seen in HIV positive male. The answer is Theridomyces marnifi. Now again a very bad image showing the cauliflower growth appearance over the foot uh, in farmer having trauma. 
branching hyphae is seen. Histology also shows the copper penny body with branching hyphae. So the answer is chromoblastomycosis. All of you most welcome. Here we will discuss some of the questions which are image based. So this first question uh, is clearly suggestive of the oil drop sign that shows the parakeratosis which is clearly seen in psoriasis. Now the question number two is the marked bone. The marked bone which you have to identify is incus only. This type of the image uh, is shown in the examination. The marked bone is incus which you have to identify. The next question is the 11 months old child present with pain in abdomen and the claw sign is uh, seen which is suggestive of the intersusception. So this type of the image will uh, uh, sorry this type of the image comes in the examination and then you have to identify the claw sign that shows of the intersusception. Now which type of the scan is this? This image is uh, uh, clearly suggestive of the PET scan that is positron emission tomography. So that scan is the PET scan. Next question is now this radiological image if you carefully examine this image it is uh, clearly indicative of the bicornuate uterus. So very simple it is again bicornuate uterus. Next question is here you will see in this radiological image the stag horn calculus is uh, seen. So this is again one of the easy question and the radiological questions. So this is the stag horn calculus. Next question is uh, you will see the air under diaphragm uh, which is suggestive of the intestinal perforation and the management is emergency laparotomy. Next question is uh, here the slide uh, shows some of the cells. These cells are called the neck cells which is suggestive of the hyaline cartilage which is suggestive of the hyaline cartilage. So my dear friends the next question is the sacular aneurysm is seen in sacular aneurysm is seen in answer is sub arachnoid hemorrhage. Next question is G6PT deficiency it affects which metabolic pathway the answer is HMP pathway. The next question is crumbled tissue appearance seen in which type of enzyme deficiency the answer is glucocerebrosidase deficiency that is seen in Gaucher's disease next question is complex four inhibitors of ETC that is electron transport chain is answer is cyanides next question is cherry red spots with mental retardation is seen in the answer is Tazex disease so these are also some one-liners which was asked in the examination. Next question is the rice water diarrhea caused due to the involvement of answer is GM1 gangliocide that is caused by the intoxication of the cholera toxin. Next question is type of uveitis seen in the sympathetic ophthalmopathy the answer is pen uveitis. Next question is most common complication of untreated radial head dislocation. The answer is malunion with cubitus varus. Next question is primary women with normal regular cycles. Mind it, with normal regular cycles are now delayed for two weeks. Came with complaints of the vaginal bleeding with abdominal pain. The SCG, beta SCG is 1400. UPT is negative, BP is normal. So USD will show the trilabular appearance. What is the next step in the management? So the next step in the management is a repeat beta SCG in 48 hours. Next question is patient with a C-section history in the previous pregnancy. Now she is again 34 weeks pregnant. Now USD shows fetus in the bleach. The management is uh, one more thing the patient is insisting for the vaginal delivery so the management is again the c-section we will do at 37 weeks as vaginal delivery is contraindicated next question is this type of the image should I just try to draw a similar type of the image in which target sign is seen so that is indicated of the pseudo exfoliated glaucoma next question is here some of the material is deposited this type of the image is seen 
in which uh, such type of material is deposited which is uh, commonly called better spot which is seen in which type of deficiency so the answer is vitamin A deficiency now the patient which is 22 weeks primary came with severe profuse vaginal bleeding but BP is normal which side of the what side of implantation caused the profuse vaginal bleeding so the answer is internal loss which is due to placenta previa now question is the child came with fatigue during the exercise differential diagnosis is Mercado's disease the enzyme defect is asked is that is myophosphorylase myophosphorylase now the stimulus for the testosterone release in the fetus is SCG produced by the placenta next question is histology image which was asked in the Michaelis uh, Goodman in which Michaelis Goodman bodies are seen the answer is malacoplakia